Hello everybody, my name is Rocker Sox, and today I'm bringing you a game of Call of Duty Black Ops on the map firing range using the Silence Galil. Today I'm using the perk Sleight of Hand, Ghost, and Ninja. Well, anyway, today what I want to talk about is the perk Ghost. Now, I know there's a lot of hate from the community on this topic, and personally, I don't understand why. Now, I don't think it's a bad perk. Yeah, I think it's kind of overused, but... Well, hey, you can't really stop people from using it, right? I mean, if people like using it, and they do well when they're using it, then they're going to use it, and there's nothing you can do to stop them. I'm sorry, but there's no magical button that says off. Now, I don't understand all the hate. People say it's overpowered, it's horrible, it's bad, like everybody uses it, there's no way around it. I guess you could say there's no counter for it or whatever, but uh, I don't get it. I mean, we had Cold Blood in Mono Warfare 2, and that perk was a million times worse. I'm not saying that was a bad perk, I used it a lot, but uh, in terms of what it did and how it helped you in the game, it, it was a lot worse than Ghost is now. I mean, all you had to do was get to level 13. I think it was 13. Might have been 18. I, I don't know, whatever it was. But uh, you had to get to level 13, and you could use that perk. Now, for those who don't know, what that perk did is it protected you from sentry guns, thermal, UAV, or spy planes, as they're not called and all enemy air support. And that's basically what Ghost Pro does now, except for that with Cold-Blooded, with you didn't have to complete any challenges, you didn't have to buy anything. All you had to do was get to level 13, which is not hard at all, as you all know, and you could get Cold-Blooded at your disposal. And the thing is, nobody really complained about that perk. Nobody. Like, I, I don't remember hearing any complaints about that perk at all. Nothing about how it's overpowered, being overused, or whatever. Nothing, nothing bad about it at all. And well, I don't get it, because Ghost is toned down a lot compared to that. I mean, it, it's nowhere near as powerful as Cold Blooded was. Like, all it does is protect you from spy planes, and that's really not that big of a deal. I mean, yes, there are a lot more spy planes in the game, and the reason for that is probably because killstreaks don't stack. So, for those who found it easy to get a chopper gun or Modern Warfare 2, now have a harder time getting 11 kills with their gun. And in Modern Warfare 2, all you have to do is get 5 kills, which got you a Predator Missile, that got you a Harrier, and that got you a Chopper Gunner. It was easier, but now it's a lot harder because your kill streaks don't stack. So instead of getting five kills, you actually have to work to get your eleven kills for a gunship or attack dogs or nine kills for a chopper gun or whatever. Now that's probably one of the reasons there are a lot more spy planes, and that's because a lot more people who actually can't get an eleven kill streak with just their gun, they go for a lower kill streak so that they can feel rewarded in some way. So they go for the two or three kill streak that is a spy plane, which makes it a lot easier to use. Now on a side note here. I couldn't actually find out where this guy was, so I'm kind of shooting at nothing for a while. And uh, one of my teammates, one of my teammates arrived. Sorry, I just kind of gave up and went on to something else. So anyway, I've noticed that spy planes are being used a lot more than in Modern Warfare 2. Like in that game, you almost never saw someone using the UAV unless you were the one using it. And in a lobby, you would probably only see maybe one or two people using UAVs. And now in Black Ops, you see maybe five or six people in a lobby using spy planes. Which probably adds to the whole ghost thing, because if more people are using spy planes, then you're more likely to notice when people are using ghost or when they're not using it. Whereas in Mono Warfare 2, it was harder to tell when someone was using cold-blooded because there were a lot less UAVs, and so it became harder to tell who isn't and using, isn't using that perk. Now, another thing is that cold-blooded was used in the same perk slot as stopping power. So it got a little overshadowed by stopping power because stop, stopping power was basically the god perk in that game. If you were using stopping power, you would kill someone in about two or three bullets. So a lot more people use stopping power, and a lot less people use cold blooded. But uh, I, don't know, I mean, in my overall opinion, the whole ghost thing is a little overrated. So the game's coming to an end here. I'll let you watch the final kill come in peace, and I'll see you later, guys. 